Hello everyone and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic login sign-up form using React.js and Material UI. This form will have three modes for sign-in, email and password fields with a sign-in button, for sign-up, username, email and password fields with a sign-up button and for forgot password, only an email field with a forgot password button. The form's title and submit button text will change dynamically based on the mode. Without further delay, let's get started. First, I have created a folder called React App and opened it in Visual Studio Code. Go to Terminal, New Terminal. Type the command npx create hyphen react hyphen app login hyphen sign up. Okay to proceed? Yes. Once the setup is complete, navigate to project folder, cd, login, sign up. Next, we need to install material UI for styling our form. Go to mui.com, documentation, material UI, installation and copy the command to install material UI. Paste it in the terminal. After that's done, go back to the site and copy the command for installing material UI icons and run the command in the terminal. Once the installations are complete, let's start our application with npm start. So our application is up and running. Now let's open the app.js file inside the source folder. Remove the default code inside return statement and remove this class name from the div. We do not need the react logo so delete the import logo line as well. Next, inside the source folder create a new folder called components. Inside components, create a file named login signup.jsx. In login signup.jsx, type RAFC to generate a basic functional component. Back in app.js file, add the login signup component. In the next step, let's design our form using material UI. Let me remove this div and give container component here. We have to import this on the top. Import from MUI material container. Set the max width of extra small for a small form. Inside the container, add paper component to create a card like container. You can see it got imported on the top. Here, let's give elevation as 10 for a nice shadow effect. Give the text sign in and let's check in browser. So, our code is working fine. Let's add some spacing to this. In paper component, we will use sx prop which lets us apply custom styles. sx is equals to, make sure you give double curly braces, margin top 8, padding 2. Let's add an icon to make the form look professional. Inside paper, let's add an avatar component to display our icon in circular shape and use the mail lock outlined icon. We will import this icon from MUI icons material. main lock outlined. Let's check in browser. So we got the icon. Let's add some styling to it. 
in the avatar give sx is equals to mx auto to align the icon in center bg color primary dot main which will give blue color then text align center and then mb that is margin bottom 1 now for the title let's add typography it got imported on the top component is equals to h1 renders as an h1 element Variant is equals to H5. And the title as sign in. We'll center the text using SX is equals to text align center. Next, we will use box component. Give component is equals to form which will be styled as a form element. No validate. This will disable browser's default form validation. Let's give some margin on top. Sx is equals to empty one. Within box add text field. With a placeholder as enter username. Keep it full width. Mark the fill as mandatory, so required. Add some margin at the bottom. Sx is equals to mb2. Save the file. We are getting error. Let's check. It says box is not defined. Okay. It is not imported here. Let's add box. Save the file and let's check in the browser. So you can see the username field. Let's copy this code and create another field for email. Enter email. Name is equals to email. Type is equals to email. Save the file. We got the email field. Next again copy this and create password field. Enter password. Type is equals to password. So we got the password field as well. So our aim is to render a form that dynamically changes based on the action which are sign in, sign up and forgot password. But before working on that, let's add a button. Type is equals to submit. Variant is equals to contained. Follow it and some margin sx is equals to empty one. Text sign in. To switch between modes, we need to add the links. For that, let's add grid container. Inside grid container, add grid item element. Then add the link. Component is equals to button. And text for good password.
I'll just copy and create two more links. Sign up. Then for sign in, text. Already have account, sign in. Save the file. Got some error. Link is not defined. Let's add it on the top. Save. Error is gone. Let's check in the browser. We'll give some spacing between forgot password and sign up. In the grid container, give justify content is equals to space between. Let's check again. Add some margin on the top. Sx is equals to empty one. Now let's understand the flow. When the form shows sign in mode, it will have only email and password fields. When we click on sign up, username field gets added to it. On click of forget password, we will only show the email field. If you again click sign in, it returns to the initial sign in mode. So now let's quickly go to the code and make the form dynamic using use state hook. Const action which determines the form's action mode that is sign in, sign up or forgot password. Set action is a function used to update this action state is equals to use state default value sign in. Replace static sign in text in the typography with action. This makes the title text dynamic and we'll do the same thing for button. We need username field only for sign up mode. So let's write a conditional statement. If action equals to equals to equals to sign up, and move this code here. Display the text field containing username. So here, if the action is sign up, then we need to display the text field which has username. Now we are in sign in mode, so the username field is not visible. Next, on click of this sign up link, we should be able to see the sign up layout. So in sign up link, give on click is equals to arrow function set action update the variable to sign up. Let's check in the browser. Click on the sign up link. We got the username, email and password field visible. Title and button text is also changed to sign up. Next for the forgot password link give on click is equals to arrow function. Set action update the variable to forgot password. Let's check in the browser. If you notice here, we don't need the enter password field. So, in the code, we will write the conditional statement action not equals to equals to forgot password. And operator then display enter password field which means if action is not equal to forgot password then only display the password text field let's check in the browser looks fine now next for the sign in link on click is equals to arrow function set action variable as sign in
Save the file and let's test all the three links. So it works fine. If you notice here we are in sign in layout. We don't need already have account sign in link. So we will write a ternary condition. If action is equals to is equals to is equals to sign in. Then display the sign up link. Otherwise, display the already have account sign in link. Again, check in the browser. Works fine. For the forgot password link, give the condition. If action is not equals to equals to forgot password. Then only display the forgot password link. Now everything works perfectly fine and the form dynamically updates based on the action state. And that's it guys, we have successfully built a dynamic login signup form using ReactJS and Material UI. Let me know your feedback in the comments below and if you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Frontend Pathsala. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.